Hey yo, it's another market day. I am so excited for the event today because it is a theme uh, around PTS. It's a market called Spring Day. setup today please let me know in the comment sections this time setup i found some cool display from ikea do you know that ikea now offers a standing pegboard i use this pegboard to display our keychains phone charms and acrylic pins for all of my cups i use a desktop shelf i assemble this at home and when i get to the market i can simply screw it into the table I also use another small pegboard and a connector to display my car mirror charm. For the flowers, I found it simple and extremely easy to assemble on site clothes rags to display my bouquet. For the checkout area, I put the shoes rack over the cash register. This gives me space for my mystery bag signs, plain sticks, iPad, and other packing essentials. Spring day events was from 11.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. The weather was sunny at 90 plus degrees. You should get yourself a hand fan, they come in very handy during hot weather markets like this. The market was very slow the first hour, then slowly started to pick up around 1pm or so, then slow down again shortly after 2.30ish. When it's not so busy, I take my chance and fill my tummy up. Today I have salmon poke with ocean salad from Poke Express. And as always, brown sugar boba from After Life. After I enjoy my lunch, I reorganized the table and added some more items. This 
This was my first K-pop event ever, and I was very excited. To be honest, I don't know much about all the groups lately. I'm more of the older generation, like Big Bang, Two Any One, Super Juniors, Wonder Girls type of gal. And I have always wanted to go to K-pop concerts and events. So this market made me feel like I have accomplished my childhood wishes. Business-wise, I did a great number of sales, but I did not hit my goals. We only had one item related to PTS and K-pop: this punch needle coaster with the PTS logo. Everything else is still our original products, such as plushies, mystery bags, cups, and I made some bouquets with a mixture of artificial eucalyptus and crochet plush tulip and lavender. We sold half of our bouquet, lots of pocket plushies, and so many bumper stickers. Overall, I had such a fun day, met so many new faces, but I honestly do not think a K-pop event is a type of event I would want to do again with my brand. To be successful selling at this type of event, I need to offer more K-pop related products, but that also means stretching myself more. And I honestly don't want to add extra work on myself because crochet is a very time-consuming thing to do. Since crochet cannot be made by a machine, I want to spend my time and energy towards the products that represent my brand. If you are in a similar situation, don't press yourself in doing things that does not represent you and your brand. We can try to make compromises and adjustments as much as we can, but understand that we cannot make every customer happy. As I always say to my followers, the right customers for you will find you. Now, if you are curious what it is like to be a vendor at an elementary pop-up event, I recommend you check out this video next, where I show you my experience at my most successful market to date. So, thank you so much for watching this video, but I will see you in this video next.